Hey, welcome back to 90s Yellow Cards. Jake Roy here. So I've got a video I'm really excited to share with you. So a little follow up from our trip to the East Coast National that we took back during the summer. So we've got some stuff back from Beckett that I'm ready to share with you. All right, so here we've got a box and this is what we got back from Beckett BGS grading. So I'll add some clips in here so you can see what we had submitted to, uh, to Beckett when we went to the East Coast National. So what we're looking at right now is whatever the results are. So we had most of those cards, we got RCR'd as you saw. So we'll see if some of those bump. We also had one card in here that we didn't have an RCR on. So we're gonna see you know, what that got as, as just a raw card. So two of these cards actually that we have in here were pulled on the channel. So literally we've seen the story from pack all the way to getting it into some sort of protective cases, all the way to getting them graded. So I think that those are gonna be really fun to see kind of how that story plays out, you know, really from, from birth to, you know, now these things maturing a little bit. So this is gonna be really fun. I'm really excited. I'm hoping something bumps. I'm hoping that we, uh, you know, get a lot of great stuff in here. Uh, so let's crack right in, hope for some fire. All right, so here we've got the box. So this is my first time opening one of these. So bear with me. I'm not sure uh, how smoothly this will go, but hopefully, hopefully we do pretty well. All right, here we go. Any information out of here. Come on. All right, so I'm gonna slow roll these kind of and go one at a time. We'll pull these off camera. All right, first one we have here. All right, so this is the big boy we we're looking at. So this is the Tom Brady. Oh my goodness, so this is a true gem right here. So we've got all nine fives. We knew that this was gonna be a nine five after the uh, RCR submission. So we've got nine five on everything and then the surface got a 10. So that's unbelievable. So this, when we pulled it, was roughly a $300 card, I think, raw. So as a gem mint, as a true gem, I think this is close to a six or $700 card now, which is just unbelievable. Uh, so this is my friend, Joe. He, this is one that was opened on the channel. And uh, I think this is gonna be locked into his PC for a long time, just an incredible card. Um, wow, that's, that's a beauty right there. So we're off to a great start. Not a bump, but true gem is a beauty. All right, so the next one here is another Brady, another 9.5. So this one is a Topps Chrome from 2012. This is a Jersey numbered card. So it's uh, numbered right here, number 12 out of 499. So pretty sweet. Fun for all the fans of jersey numbered cards there. And this is also a true gem, wow. So all nine fives and then a 10 on the surface, unbelievable. That's, Joe's gonna be very happy with these so far. All right, another Brady here. We knew that this was gonna be a nine five. So this is another one that is jersey numbered. So we've got number 12 out of 50. This is a Prism uh, team logo from 2014. And let's see the subs, wow. Another true gem, 10 on centering, everything else nine five. Another beauty. We're doing great so far, I'm really happy. All right, so here we get into some that are nine. So this was the Tom Brady Fleer Tradition rookie. There's also uh, Drew, somebody or other, another Patriots rookie. So this one, we knew it was gonna be a nine. So the nine on edges, eight five on the surface, okay. And then nine fives on centering and corners. So I think that's pretty good. I think Joe will be pretty happy with that overall. So just uh, the surface bringing it down a little bit on that one. 
All right, some Sasha Banks. So I don't know too much about these, but this one gemmed. Uh, and yeah, this one gemmed also when we got this as a uh, RCR. So nine on the edges, not great there. Centering corners got nine five, surface a 10, and then a 10 on the autograph grade. So pretty cool uh, that that still stayed as a nine five. It didn't get bumped down or anything. All right, Julian, Ed oh wow. I think this one bumped. I think this one was a nine. So this is a nine five now. That's great. Um, I'm sure Joe's gonna be excited with that. So we got all nine fives and then surface got a nine. Uh, so that's probably what was bringing it down a little bit with the RCR and then a 10 on the auto. So that's great. Great little surprise there. All right, another Sasha Banks. We knew that this was probably gonna be a nine. So we got an eight five on the centering, nine on the corners the rest got nine five, then a 10 on the autograph. Okay, about what we expected. Now we're getting into some Jordans, I think. All right, so this one was a nine when we got the RCR. So centering 10, uh, surface nine five, edges nine, corners nine. So this, I mean, this is a good nine. Uh, pretty close, maybe if somebody wanted to, to bump something like this that might get a bump on edges or corners, possibly. Legacy, so this is one that has a fun little story. So this is one that my my father got for my brother as a Christmas gift way back in the 90s. Uh, so this got a nine as the um, RCR and then stayed as a nine with a nine five on centering. So I know these can typically be a little bit condition sensitive with all the foil. So getting a nine on this is a beautiful, beautiful grade. All right, so here we go with a round ball. This is the one that we didn't know what was because we didn't get RCR'd. So this is one got pulled on the channel. I'm hoping for a gem, but we'll see. I want a, at least a nine. All right, we got a nine. Very nice. So this is the round ball royalty refractor, you know, with the film there. So we got nine five edges, uh, centering and corners, and then the surface brought it down to an eight five. I know a lot of people like to peel these, so the peel doesn't take down from the surface grade, and then sometimes uh, that will help it bump. Uh, I did notice there's a little bit of damage on the on the case here, so that's unfortunate. Um, maybe something happened in shipping, but uh, might be something Becky can take care of. But okay, nine, not bad at all. You know, seeing this one get pulled, now get a nine, as well as the Brady getting pulled and getting nine five. Overall, I'm very happy with what we did. All right, so we're back. So I'm really pleased with how we did. You know, this process was really fun for me, actually. I'm not a huge fan, as you know, uh, of graded cards in general. I don't tend to buy many graded cards for my PC, but this is my first time actually submitting cards for grading. This is my first time doing RCRs. The RCR process for, for us was really fun. Uh, it was really quick. I know we've talked about this a lot in the video on the East Coast National, but you know, we got in there early. We dropped our stuff off. We got the stuff back before, well before the end of the day. Um, and it was really fun. It was, you know, just kind of uh, excitement, just like opening packs to see what we got for for the raw card grades on, on each of these cards. It was, it was a really fun way to finish our, our day there. And then sending some on was kind of interesting to see how the process would play out. We ended up doing the 30 day uh, offer for the for the turnaround time and between when we left them at the Beckett booth uh, on that day and when we got them back it was about 45 days so pretty pleased I know I've heard horror stories with people having stuff lost with Beckett or things just getting you know lost in their process and taking forever but uh, you know paying to get 30 day turnaround and getting it back you know within a reasonable amount of time I think I was pleased with 
that's for sure. I know uh, I was anxiously awaiting the stuff, so I was really hoping that it wouldn't take, you know, months and months and months and just keep dragging on like I've heard some stories. But, uh, you know, overall, I was very pleased with the turnaround. So thank you to Beckett for, for doing a, a great service for, for all of us collectors. So, um, you know, really pleased with some of these grades, you know, seeing the, the true gem on the Brady, the subs are great. You know, all the Brady's did very well. Uh, getting the two jersey numbered cards is as great true gems as well. And then getting the bump on the Edelman was was really fun to see. You know, I'm not a huge football collector, I'm not a huge Patriots fan, but I'm always excited to see other collectors get what they're hoping for. I know that these were cards that my buddy Joe was really excited to get good grades on. So I'm really happy for him to, to see him get those in his PC. And then the Jordans for my brother, you know, this round ball, again, just like the, the Brady Black, uh, Black Diamond was another one that was pulled on the video, actually our first video ever. So I'll actually link both of these videos of us pulling these out of packs down in the description. I'll also link up our trip to the East Coast National down in the description so you can watch those if you haven't or if you just want a nice trip down memory lane. But our first video, uh, you know, things were a little rough. So, so if you haven't seen that before, uh, it's not the same quality that we have right now. It's not the same techniques and stuff, but still a fun rip through that box and then culminating with us pulling this card just a really, really great card and a really great memory for my brother and I having some fun ripping through that. And then having this card, I don't foresee this ever leaving my brother's PC. Uh, you know, regardless of whatever it came back as for a grade, this was just something that we wanted to see since we pulled it right out of the pack and right into a one touch and then right to, to grading. We wanted to see how this would do. And now it's well protected and something that he can have for years and years and show we can show our kids and tell them the story and show them the video you know it's fun having all this stuff documented so we can share it with our kids and, and friends and, and all of you so really fun stuff you know really i'm just really excited <laughs> i've got a lot of a lot of excitement over all this stuff you know great nine here with a competitive advantage i love this set uh great memories and, and a great grade set with the subs on the legacies too i mean just Overall, it was really fun, really excited. I can't say I'm gonna grade a ton more stuff, but I definitely will do more RCRs. There's one card that I RCR'd in the East Coast National Bunch with the, uh, the pen, one of my pennies that I, I think I wanna get that one slabbed. It RCR'd as a nine, and uh, in hindsight, I, I would like to get that slapped. So I'll probably submit that next time. There's some other cards I might RCR, but even just having them in the RCR is enough for me and my PC in some cases. Um, but some of them I, I probably will continue on and get slabbed, but the majority of my PC, don't worry, I'm not going away uh, from keeping the majority of my PC raw. That's, that's how I tend to enjoy things best. A lot of my stuff that I want to have in a slab is more for protection, and that's the case with the penny that I was talking about as well. So, question of the day for you, what's your experience with getting cards graded? Uh, you know, a, kind of a broad question, but have you ever RCR'd and gotten something to bump like we saw with the Edelman here? Or uh, have you had good turnaround times with Beckett? Or have you had a bad experience that you want to share with us? You know, drop whatever experience you've had with grading, uh, you know, whether it was similar to ours or dissimilar. Drop that down in the comments. And as always, thanks for watching the video. Thanks for coming and discussing and, and chatting about our hobby, our great hobby, and uh, sharing some of the excitement here. So share some of the excitement that you've had with us as well down in the comments. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. Hit the bell icon so you don't miss any videos in the future. Regular opening videos in stuff like this will also drop on Wednesdays, and any bonus videos will drop on Fridays. Thanks.